Today, we're reviewing Catalog. This is a team project management application that allows you to build a bespoke project management workspace for you and your team. We're going to be doing a full walkthrough through it, as well as all of the regular stuff that we cover here on Keep Productive. And as you're reading or watching this, you can naturally use Tool Finder and go deeper into the tool in helping you to understand it. And you can find everything that we mentioned below linked in the description. Now, Catalog's an interesting application and I'm eager to dive into it in this full walkthrough. So feel free to use the timestamps below and enjoy our videos. And if you're not yet, please do become a subscriber. Let's dive into Catalog. So here we are with Catalog. And one of the first things you do when you sign up is you actually get to build your account using some of their artificial intelligence and some of their abilities that they're doing in that space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this company, um, maybe um, book distributors, or actually, I'm going to actually make a product company. I'm going to make product A, Acme. And I'm going to go down and press continue. So you can see here that it says I want to build something in catalog. So I might actually want to say, okay, I want to build a real estate firm as my type of company. And what it's going to do is it's going to build it based on AI using and building it from components. So imagine that your space now has objects in it that are basically set up like fields in an under project management application but already pre-built for you, creating connections between them all. And they're calling this modules inside mm. of Catalog. So this process tends to take between something like 45 to 60 seconds. So don't be afraid to go and grab something upstairs before it's built. But as you can see, it's created a few modules that I think is suitable for a real estate company. So you can see here that it's got analytics from the website, it's got properties, it's got sales that have been made, clients that are private or corporate customers of the company and listings as well. So I'm going to go ahead and build this catalog workspace. So as you see, I have entered my catalog workspace. And one thing you do get is a 14 day free trial. Please do check the pricing if that's something that you need to check before this feature. But as you can see here, this is the home page. Think of this as your dashboard for coming into your account. And what's great about it is once you start connecting accounts up, which can be done through the integration section, and they have around 28 integrations so far, it means that you can connect up things like, for example, your Google Calendar, your files. We'll maybe show you that near the end of this video. And you can also search across everything you've got. And you can see daily briefing areas, which is really important. So I'm going to go over to properties. So you can see here that I might have a property like 34 Dale uh, Pew Road. Let's just make it up. And I can start connecting it with people in the account. So for example, I might want to organize this transaction. I can even make it private down here. Now I can make this longer if I want to extensively write about the description. But if I just want to get it in to the account, it's now a listed property. So what I can do here is I can give it a price, maybe 45,000 pounds or dollars, and I could add a listing agent here, all of the property information. I could add a description about property, maybe add a tag, I could call it, you know, we could start one about two beds and press save, very cheap two bed, but it means that I could search that all there. I could add team members, I could add a photo of the property, but most importantly, when it comes to project management, I can add tasks about this property. So I could be like research the surrounding areas and highlight in report. And once I've added that task, it goes into my task library and I can add a due date to it. I can even add subtasks below. And if I click into it, you can see here that I can add descriptions, subtasks, assignees, due dates, and the property that is connected to as well. I can give it an estimate and priority like I would with other experiences in a fairly neat, neat and clean interface here. Now, one of the things I do like is if you have team members, you can create threads. Now, threads can be as simple as, um, do you want to help me on choosing the uh, price range for this property? 
Ah, uh, wait, maybe who wants, or we'll just call it price range, help. And then you can start discussing it, maybe add some items. You can even add um, separate areas where you can organize this. And you can even connect Slack in the integration section. But this is a great place to begin discussions and start correlating conversations around the particular topic of 34 Dale Pew Road. Now we can add in resources, maybe this is the Zoopla link, um, some mock-ups of some photos that we've got in Google Drive, and I can start connecting clients as well. So these might be private buyers and people like that, so maybe it's not relative to this, but I can also connect the listing as well. So this is an area where I can actually see all of the listings and the, so for example, I could put the day pew road property. Can you tell I'm not a real estate agent and I can assign somebody to it. But that means that now I have a one dedicated to Del Pew Road and maybe I'll be able to connect more associated with that. But I can do that by going up to connect and hooking up the listing, which means now that there's a relationship between these two items. Now I can manage sales through here to see which ones have been successful and analytics on the websites. Um, so it's really designed around trying to structure it based on how systems work in existing companies. Now, the other things you can do is view all of your tasks, pages, which is something I'll come to in a moment, workflows and resources. Workflows is an area where, for example, let's use a demonstration, oh, that's a demonstration video, you can set up a workflow that is in your account. So for example, I could be like, um, automate listings. And if I go to create, I can naturally use a template, for example, um, enter a step name. Okay, so here is a good example of one. This is probably a much better example one. Here's a template. So let's say I was hiring a new person. This is a hiring process structure. So it does an introduction, it can set up introduction, identify the need for a new person, announce it to HR using a post. So it's connecting abilities that are already inside of your account. So let's go ahead and use this one. And as you can see, you can connect them up to relevant areas. But what's nice is it's pretty much automating that process. In terms of this, this is an announcement that is gonna go into um, a certain area of the account. But what's nice is you can basically set things up so that they are run without being known, like instantaneously, once a process is done in this stage, you can begin to roll it out. And you can naturally add people that are connected to this account so that they can modify this and they can track the ongoing assignments that are happening. So this is really interesting type of workflow. So I'm gonna rename this one to hiring new real estate agent. This could be your process for going through this system. And it could save you a vast amount of time in naturally being able to set this up. And you can edit some of these as well. So you can see that this is a form that's been created. This is the approval that's been created. And I can see the approver. So now once this is saved, it is all happy. So once it goes through all those processes, you can create steps and systems in place for a new person to arrive. So pages is something that you can set up. So for example, in this Dale Pew Road um, experience, I can add a page. Maybe this is an outline of what the property is like. So I could be like property outline. And I can go ahead and use slash command below to search and bring stuff up or I could actually use a template as well. You can mention tasks, pages, other listings and things like that, and even analytics and mention workflows as well. You can also bring up um, importing tasks from other accounts, embed stuff, use dividers, and the regular stuff you'd expect in an application like this. So if I go back, now I have the page connected to the account which means this is perfect for being able to find it for later and I can go into it at any given point. Okay, so one of the things that you might have is if your modules aren't suitable for you, let's say you don't run analytics on a website and you don't get most of your lead gen from there, you can go ahead and delete it. You can also modify information like 
what necessary fields you want and what features you actually want. And what's nice is they have the ability to connect up features. So in this case, I can connect workflows. I can even use a timeline uh, inside the client's area. Actually, that could be a bit more suitable for the properties area. So if I wanted to go ahead and add a timeline, I could. Um, and you can see here, I can add some of the phases. So I can say research and add some more uh, sale. And that could be uh, two months long. And finally, exchange. Now, if I go ahead and press save, I can go over to this property. So you can see that the timeline appears at the top here and I can go ahead and add some phases to it. So for example, um, buy date or um, viewings because I'm an estate agent and I can go ahead and add that between a certain date. I could add a few more like um, locking in phase. I don't know what an estate agent does, but I could start seeing a timeline like that. So the timeline area can be helpful for getting a just a quick glance view of how the project is progressing and something that you can manage and add to the feature section of your account. So if you go to settings, you can also modify your app logo, add a full logo, a company tagline, and even modify the color of the sidebar too. This is something that a lot of people might like to do, and I can go ahead and press save changes. You can see that everything changes on that left-hand side, so just make sure you've set it up with your company's hex code and things like that. Now you can also change the structure of the organization in terms of how it's organized on that left hand side. You can also create your own templates as well. Now templates can be helpful for not only pages, but also threads as well. Integrations are great to be able to connect things like Google Calendar. Let's say I wanted to connect up a work Google Calendar. I can start to see my Google Calendar items on my homepage. If I go back, I can now see I've got lunch here and things like that. And I'm starting to populate with some of the highlights that are coming up across my day. So inside the settings, I can also modify the directory in terms of the organization members. I can see how many active members are in there and also see what my billing is to down here. I can modify my profile as well. And up in general, I'm back to square one. So you can start to see how your account can be modified in a little bit more detail and how it can be refined a little bit more. And this is very early days in terms of how it's being used. And I've probably given it a very tough example of how it could be done. But catalog is in its very early stages. But as a application that's very customizable, it is, but it gives you the optionality of structure, which a lot of people like with traditional project management software. One of the things you probably need to get your head around is the connections and relationships between the different areas of your account and whether and whether not things are suitable for you in terms of the experience you've got on the left hand sidebar. So that was our overview of how you can use catalog for managing a real estate company. I have no clue how that is done, of course, but it gives you an idea of a working example of a company that can use it. So a very interesting structure to a new and fairly early stage project management application. Thank you very much for stopping by. Feel free to check out more in-depth detail in the Tool Finder experience.